Okay, so today I'm going to explain my animation workflow that I use time and time again for animations like jumps, for attacks, for anything that I'm really focusing on posing and focusing on just having clean visual animations. Uh, there's many, many different workflows out there. There's a layer approach, there's step key, there's most of them I don't even know the name of just to be honest just to be clear but for what I do for this particular one that I like to use and is I, I animate on once all my key poses and those key poses can end up being over like 20 something poses in some, in some cases and then sometimes I actually animate where I just animate the cog especially like on hit reactions and things of that nature I always express to any and every animator out there experiment with all kinds of workflows because one of them may be better for you at other times in your career whether it's in films video games VFX stop motion whatever uh, so for this one I'm just gonna go through a workflow that I used on a earlier tutorial a jump animation and what I do is basically I gather all my poses for this particular thing and this is a game animation jump so my beginning pose is going to already start in the anticipation pose so you see my character he's down his anticipation pose and then for the, like, the next two frames you know I'll make adjustments on these arms but uh, he goes from frame one and I'm using I have shortcuts I'm all on one side but I have I call them the Pac-Man keys yes the Pac-Man keys and you can toggle back and forth on those to go to each keyed frame. And I use this a lot to help me just sort of dissect all the poses and sort of see my animation in motion before I start spreading out all my keys, all my frame, all my uh, all my poses. Because normally what I'll do is I'll set up and I'll make all my poses all on ones, and then from there I will not deviate, uh, put in betweens or anything else like that. Because what I'm looking for is this the whole complete animation to sort of play out visually by just on ones and once I got that down and I sort of see where I can see where my arcs are coming in you know my heads are lining up I can see all those things and if anything's out of whack like on frame one and one and two here got the arms in the same position I can easily just go in Wait. makes it helpful And once I make those adjustments, I can just move on and not get too caught up in what everything else needs to be, the in-between keys and everything else, just focusing on my poses. And then from here, I can literally grab all the controllers and make sure there's keys on every pose and just start moving my poses around to get the animation I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I know at frame five, I wanted all the animations to be, or the player to be up in the air frame 5 so frame 10 frame 4 is the one I wanted up in the air so I'm going to put that one to frame 5 I'm going to move frame 2 and 3 over to 3 and 4 and now I got my first initiation of the jump happening from frame 1 to 5 characters already at the height I want them to be he's going to go into his I would say spider-man or karate pose but he's going to go into his his idol his hold and I'm going to put that at 7 so he holds from 7 and then from 11, I'm gonna grab all those poses, push it out. I had it at frame 11, so I'm gonna push it out to about 15. So now I got the hold from 7 to 15. And then now when the character comes down, it sort of comes down sort of fast. So I wanna go, I say, actually frame 20, I wanna push him out to about 22, push 19 to about 20. Let's see how that feels. I think it's too much abrupt right here, so I wanna slide these two keys down. And then he goes back to idle and then from here I can go ahead and address the rest of this if I wanted to like I focused on the pose and now I can sit here and sort of work with the timing knowing my poses are what they want to where I want my poses to be and if I don't and I feel something's out of whack I can easily go back adjust the whole pose add a new in between to sort of flush out stuff actually I want this one at frame 20 19 I want to make an overlap, or not overlap, but more of a settle. Go to frame 40 for my so the character gets up. 
So I'm going to push them up a little bit. Not that I would want that because his knees lock out. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust it a little bit. And that can go into the curve editor. But this allows me to export this out, put it in game, allow the designers or whomever needs to look at it to look at it. A quick pass. And it also allows me to go in game, test it out. Something's not a not looking right I can just go simply in know where all the keys know that all this is on one pose and just adjust things around say maybe the hole needs to be longer so he lands up and he holds and then he comes down okay looks like it settles too fast too abrupt so I'm gonna push that push this a little bit so it's not as abrupt and you can easily go back and forth and then when everything is somewhat final everything looks good in game everything looks good from whomever else is looking at it, from supervisors to other designers, you can go from there and start adding your polish in, tweaking out even more, going to your graph editor and make those adjustments. Now this is just like, the, like I said, this is just one of many, many workflows out there. And I do highly recommend you experiment them with them all because you never know when you'll need to fall. Lean on one more and then the other. All right, I hope this helps. And if you need any more tips, just let me know.